A shave with London Bridge razor blades coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for joining me. Really do appreciate it. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Look around. Check out the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, viewer Martin Ferguson, all the way on the other side of the pond, over there in Great Britain, in, in England, very, very kindly sent me London Bridge razor blades. Thank you so much, Martin. I really do appreciate that. These are made specifically, as I understand it, from some of the online research I've done for the Asian market. Now, uh, on the on the packaging, I've seen mention of Philippines, China, and Vietnam. I think these are made in Shanghai, China, from what I've been able to decipher online from various discussions. Not entirely sure. But it is a blade primarily targeted, as I understand it, for the Asian market. So um, you can find these on RazorBladesClub.com and also on eBay. But you're probably not going to find this on Amazon US. At least I haven't been able to find them there. Now, uh, some of the online discussion I've been seeing, can, uh, a lot of shavers like these a lot. It's a stainless steel blade and it's very sharp. I saw one reviewer um, make mention that it's as sharp as a feather razor blade. Well, we're going to find out how sharp it is because we're going to have a shave with it. Uh, I'm going to be using my Vikings Blade Godfather Stonehenge razor. Now, I'm using this because of that mention of this blade here uh, being in the same ballpark as a feather blade. Not entirely sure, but we're going to find out. Uh, this particular razor is probably one of the few razors I will use a feather blade in. Now I'm going to expand that a little bit, but uh, into uh, some other of the some into some of the other milder razors that I have. But for this one, for sure, I know really takes to the feather blade very nicely and offers me a wonderful, wonderful shave. So we're going to go ahead and use this London blade in this, this uh, razor here because it offers a nice, mild, yet efficient shave. And I think this blade will be a good fit for it, a good match. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But as I say, I'm going to be experimenting down the road and using the feather blade and these blades and some of the other mild razors that I have. Uh, you know, part of the fun of the wet shave, pairing up different blades and different razors. So here they are right here. Here is the London razor blade right here. I'm going to open this up and they are double wrapped. That is, that's terrific. I like that a lot. You can see they're double wrapped there. So we're going to pull this out here. like the branding on it already. Just really got some nice font work and labeling. London Bridge, can you see that? Kind of rock it back and forth there. All right, so here's the uh, the cap here, it's a stainless steel cap on this uh, Vikings Blade Stonehenge. This is a plated uh, Zamac uh, base plate, but boy, it's got some terrific, wonderful branding all throughout. I love this base plate. I love the color makeup of the uh, the, the razor overall. It's just terrific. So we're going to drop that on there like that. Okay. And as you know, the end tabs are enclosed. Love this teardropped handle on the Stonehenge. This is one about one. Uh, I got a couple of razors, a few like this that have that beautiful teardrop uh, handle that fits so naturally in the hand. Of course, the latest one is the Mocha from Global Shape Clubs International. This has a teardrop uh, handle as well. I'll just show you the difference in size there. Yeah, the Godfather is a little bit longer. Uh, and the teardrop is a little bit lower here, uh, but and it's also heavier because it's stainless steel. So it's a stainless steel cap and a handle, and the base plate is a uh, really nicely manufactured plated Zamac uh, base plate from what I understand. So there it is there, and you can see the blade balance. 
and alignment is just beautiful in this razor. Absolutely beautiful and spot on. And again, the end tabs are enclosed. Love the shave that this razor offers. Absolutely terrific. Also love that, that comb that's on that razor head too. Just makes for a fabulous, fabulous shave. We're going to be using uh, Sterling Barbershop. Yeah, we have just come through about a week of soaking rains. And this morning it is rather cool outside, so I wanted a shaving soap that has a little bit of warmth to it. And this Barbershop scent is classic. Classic Barbershop scent offers that nice warmth. Uh, I'm going to be using my uh, Phoenix Shaving Atomic Rocket Shaving Brush. It's uh, soaking in the sink right here. I'm going to be using my brush scuttle. I'm going to finish it off with some uh, Sterling Barbershop uh, aftershave right here. Also, a little something different. Some uh, Duke Cannon aftershave balm ice cold for upstairs. And, uh, you know, in between those two steps, I'm going to use the GBS alum block. All right, so let's, uh, let's kick it off. You know what? I'm going to kick it off with the uh, Cube 2.0. Forgot to mention that. Activated charcoal, mentholated, formula CK6. So hopefully looking for a really, really nice lather from the Sterling and the Phoenix Shaving Cube. So let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. All right, got two days worth of growth here. So really looking forward to seeing what this blade does in this razor. See if it'll knock it down nicely. Oh yeah, that's got it. Love the way this CK6 the, the Cube 2.0 with CK6, how it cleans the skin, preps the beard. Let's rinse. Yeah, that does a really nice job of prepping the beard. So we're going to go ahead and use this as a pre-shave pre base foundation just by rubbing against the grain here. All right, so we are all set there. I got a towel here just to uh, wipe off my hands in between things. Had some hot water on the puck right here. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of hot water there. Okay. Going to dump that in there. And I am getting low on this. <laughs> so I think it's almost time to order some more. But, yeah, love the scent. Absolutely love the scent. And uh, this is probably, I think this was the first Sterling Shave Soap I used. Viewers were encouraging me to try the Sterling Shave Soaps. And this was the first one that I, that I selected based on the artwork, based on the fact that it said barbershop. And it did not disappoint. I think this is overall my favorite Sterling Shave Soap. So I like to, it's a towel-based soap, so I like to load it until I get a really good brush load. I like to go about 30 seconds or so, or until it creams up around the edges of the container. And boy, we are really, I'm gonna to have to hold it like this because we are really starting to build a lather here. That has been, <laughs> that's really terrific. I'm getting there, I'm almost there. That is great. Yeah, you can see where I'm already getting the cream around the sides there. That's really, that's kind of the way I do it with a tallow-based soap. Uh, wait until it starts to really kind of build up there. Then I know I've got a nice brush load and it's right there at the point where I can start to do my face lather because we are going to do a face lather. So I think that's got it right there. Okay, here we go. And of course you can add water to this as you go while you do your face while you're doing your face lather here. And I am going to add a little bit of water. As I always say, it's better to add the water when you're building your lather than having too much water and having to add soap. 
Boy, that is just a really nice lather that we're getting here. Nice and creamy and rich and thick. And this brush is doing an absolutely wonderful job. 26 millimeter knot. Classic shape to the uh, shaving brush handle. Really, really feels great in the hand and it just is helping to generate a lot of lather. Boom! Lather! Yeah, there it is! I mean, it's just... Before you know it, it's just there. Wow. All right. That is, uh, we're all set here for pass number one. Got plenty on the shaving brush. It's going to go into the brush scuttle where I've got some hot water. And uh, here, I'll show you. Got some hot water on that uh, outer chamber there. The inner chamber here holds the light brush and just soaks up that warmth from the hot water and keeps that knot and the lather on the knot nice and warm so that uh, when we go to pass number two, we'll have a nice warm lather again. All right, so we're gonna heat this up over some hot, hot, hot water. This is nice and secure and in place. Love this handle, feels so natural in the hand. Ah, okay, that's got it, yeah, just wait, yeah, that's got it. Just wait, I want to I want to get it nice and warm here. Okay, that's got it. A little swirl the sink to the bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Wow, that feels like it's slicing right through the whisker. Boy, that's terrific. Two days worth of growth, these, this blade feels like it has a nice sharp edge to it. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm getting some nice subtle audio feedback. Boy, that's terrific. This uh, razor head, nice and slim in its own way, does a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting those little bits on the with the grain north to south pass does a really terrific job very efficient job in getting those little bits i'll get the rest of them on the second pass going east and west but boy the first pass does a nice job first pass done let's rinse well you know what that's <laughs> that's really right there it's socially acceptable just on the cusp because of two days worth of growth but boy, that's really, that's an impressive blade. That really is. And I think the Godfather Stonehenge was the perfect razor to use with this coming out of the box because, uh, yeah, I think it's a sharp blade. Here we go with uh, pass number two. Going to lather up, and boy, that lather is nice and warm. Boy, if you're a face lather, I always mention this. Check out this a brush scuttle. This has got to be one of my favorite things for my shave now. Just fill with hot water. What a brilliant idea. You fill with hot water, you put the inner chamber in there, it keeps everything warm. I mean, that's just marvelous. And again, plenty of uh, lather for the second pass. Well, that was a good first pass. My shave is not done, but if I had to run out the door, I could. That was really very good. Love this razor. Really, too. It's just a terrific razor. 
Love the weight. Probably one of the heavier razors I have in my collection. Love the shape of the handle. Love the weight. Uh, it has a nice grip to it. Even though it's smooth and it has some uh, channels, so to speak, cut here and cut here on the throat and at the end of the handle here on the neck end of the handle. Uh, it still offers a nice grip. Now, obviously, I, as I always mention, I have a, a towel here so I can wipe my hands off a little bit uh, you know, to offer a, afford a better grip. And if you want, again, I'm going to mention here, uh, what you do is get an Allen block if you want to improve your grip. Your handle's a little slick. Just, you know, wet your fingers a little bit. I just dip them in the water and then rub them on an Allen block like this. And that really increases the stickiness. Yeah, that is now a little stickier. So just a little tip that I like to pass on from time to time. Other viewers have mentioned it in shaving tip segment of the Monday Morning Mailbag, and it's worth repeating. All right, here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, this is a fine blade. This really is a fine blade. Boy, that is terrific. No tugging, no pulling. Very smooth, has a nice sharp edge to it. However, the Godfather Stonehenge is really keeping it in check for me. Uh, pass number two done, let's rinse. You know what, two days worth of beard growth and this razor and this blade have, have mowed it down to the point where I could call this shave done. It feels like I am right in the darn fine shave area. Two days worth of growth. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a quick third pass just to kind of touch things up. I'm not trying to chase the BBS. <laughs> Don't try to find the BBS. Let the BBS find you. But I think there is room for a third pass here. If I wanted to, I could call the shave done. I mean, it did that nice of a job. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a, a third pass, pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. I love doing the third pass, especially with a razor like this and the shape of the handle. It feels great in the hand just to go against the grain. Just love that classic movement uh, from the wet shave, from the, you know, from traditional wet shaving. Love, love, love doing this pass. Just terrific. A nice light touch is all you need. Able to go, I'm able to go uh, uh, against the grain on the corners of my mouth, 
Lightening up a little bit though, lightening that touch up a little bit without any tugging or pulling, but again, I'm lightening up a little bit. Uh, this did a great job. This razor and blade combo did an absolutely wonderful job. Third pass done. Let's rinse. That's nice. That is a really nice, wonderful, efficient, smooth shave. This really did a great job. I'm going to go ahead and do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Warm water rinse and then a cold water rinse. Warm water rinse to get all this excess slickness off and a cold water rinse to close my pores. Here's my warm water rinse. Just a few splashes is all I needed. I'm going to flip it to the uh, cold side here and do my cold water rinse, waiting for it to get good and cold. Yeah, there it is. Nice and cold. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Ah, oh, that's terrific. That's really, really nice. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's a nice shave. That is really marvelous. What a nice blade. Boy, that gave me a really good result. A nice, smooth, mild, efficient result. Just <laughs> terrific. Got the chin area very nicely. Oh, underneath the upper lip, chin on the cheeks. Really terrific, terrific shave. All right, let's uh, let's get this uh, GBS Allen block. Wet, run this under some cold water. Wet it under some cold water, and see what kind of feedback we get. If we get any stinging, any zinging, anything like that. So here we're going to run it under some cold water. All right, here we go. Well, definitely no stinging. Maybe, maybe one or two zings, maybe, but overall, just smooth as ice and a nice post shave aloe block experience. Yeah, that's that's terrific. That really is. I love using an aloe block in my uh, post shave routine. It's going to dry this off a little bit. It has astringent and antiseptic qualities. Um, when I first came back to the traditional wet shave, I had one of these from the Art of the Shaving. I used it, I set it aside, really didn't understand it. Then just through the wet shaving community and doing some online research, I learned more about it. And now it's a fixture in my post shave routine. It really does a wonderful job uh, in uh, you know taking care of those micro nicks Closing that up, helping to close the pores, uh, the brace, the astringent qualities of it. Just a terrific, terrific job. Uh, just indispensable for my post-shave routine. So we're going to put it in there like that, set that aside, let it dry out the rest of the way. And here is my uh, barbershop aftershave from Sterling. Ah, oh, that's a, just a beautiful scent. I, I got to get some more of the barbershop soap. It's just a classic scent. So here we're just going to, and this aftershave splash is wonderful. Definitely my favorite from Sterling. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so for upstairs... The uh, Duke Cannon Aftershave Ice Cold Shave Balm. Uh, it has shea butter to hydrate, menthol to cool, uh, that sort of thing. Even though I haven't done a head shave, I like to put something up there because of uh, just out of habit. I'll probably do a head shave later on today, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. But this is always a nice top off, <laughs> so to speak. And it's a rather neutral scent, so if I want to, I can, it won't, 
To my nose, it won't clash. Great shave. These razor blades are wonderful. These are these are terrific. Really nice and sharp. Paired up in the Vikings Blade Godfather Stonehenge, this gave me an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave. Very, very smooth. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation, and that's the important thing for me. Now, as I've often said, my skin borders on my skin borders on a sensitive side. I mean, I'm a fair-skinned individual. Let me, let me put it that way. So, my uh, my beard may not be as demanding as yours. So that's why I'm trying these in a milder razor. I look forward to trying these in some of the other milder razors I have, such as the uh, Metaphor from Phoenix Shaving, the Vikings Blade adjustable razors that I have, the Crusader and the Emperor and the Meiji Emperor and dialing those down to a milder setting. It'll be interesting to see how it works in the adjustables so that I can dial it up a little bit and see where we're at. Are these as sharp as a feather blade? I don't know if I can say that or not. Feathers are pretty darn sharp, but these were really very, very good. Might be in the same ballpark, maybe different area of the ball field. You know, maybe not sitting along the first base line with the feathers, maybe sitting in the right field. I don't know, maybe <laughs> third base line. Definitely same church, different pew, so to speak. As sharp, I don't know, I'll, I would have to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But boy, are these nice and sharp. I think this razor did a nice job in taming it. Would I use these in a razor that's more aggressive? Hey, you know what? That remains to be seen. I know that I haven't used a feather blade in a more aggressive razor because, you know, its reputation precedes them. They're downright, <laughs> they're very, very sharp. And this, so far, this is the only razor I've used a feather blade in. Um... I am going to expand that a little bit. I have some feather blades that were sent to me very kindly by Mark Bagwell. Thank you very much, Mark. So I'm going to start using feather blades in some of my other razors. And I will start using these in some of my other razors as well. Uh, one of the wonderful things about the traditional wet shave is you can mix and match razors and blades and just get some incredibly wonderful, diverse variations of shaves. It makes it such a great way to shave. A shaving adventure, so to speak. You can change up your razor, change up your blade. Absolutely wonderful. That's why I say, if you're not doing the traditional wet shave, what are you waiting for? This is the way to shave. It really is. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic book, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rady, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. My thanks again to Martin Ferguson for very, very kindly sending me these London Bridge razor blades. A little bit difficult to find. You can get them on razorblades.com, also on eBay. Look around, you can find them but they are not as mainstream as I'm led to believe. So yeah, you'll have to do some digging to find these. So I am very, very grateful to Martin for sending these to me. A really terrific blade, a great find. Thank you so very much, Martin. And thank you again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.